बैक टू अवर चैनल निशास स्टडी करना होप यू लाइक डूइंग गुड आज मैं आप सबको मेरे प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में बताऊंगा सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज वीडियो माई सेल्फ एनिमेशन है फ्रॉम क्लास फाइव टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट माई मैथ प्रोजेक्ट थ्री डी मॉडल ऑन डाटा हैंडलिंग बट फर्स्ट लेट्स नो अबाउट डाटा डाटा इज ए पीस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स अनऑर्गेनाइज डाटा एंड ऑर्गेनाइज डाटा बट माई प्रोजेक्ट इज डाटा हैंडलिंग So let's know about data handling. What is data handling? Data handling means collecting, organizing and representing information in a simple and meaningful way. Collecting means to collect information. For example, in our school, teachers collect information of students or in the hospitals, doctor collect information of the patients. Organizing means to arrange data and representing means to show data for understanding clearly we can represent data in the form of different types of graphs and tally marks different types of graphs are like the bar graph circular graph or the pie chart and the pictograph so let's talk about the tally marks here i have a tally mark tally marks is a way to count the numbers it is used to count the numbers the number 1 is represented as one vertical line the number 2 is represented as two vertical lines the number 3 is is represented as three vertical lines and the number 4 is represented as four vertical lines but the number 5 is not represented as five vertical lines it is represented as four vertical lines with a diagonal line that is started from the uh, right upper end to the left lower end it is called a group for example uh, if i gave you an example of number 7 it is uh, made by a group and two vertical lines uh, similarly number 9 it is uh, made by a group and four vertical lines if uh, we take a bigger number of two digit like 12 it will be two uh, groups and two vertical lines because uh, 12 is equal to 10 plus 2 so 10 is equal to two groups and 2 is equal to two vertical lines i am showing you the tally marks around the world here you can see that the countries like australia europe north america zimbabwe used same like us but the diagonal line is different from us this it is opposite in countries like brazil france south america and spain it is a diagonal line in a box and countries like china hong kong japan korea it is like this there are different types of graphs let's know about it first is the bar graph a bar graph uses bars of different heights and lengths for example i take for stu- some students and uh, their favorite foods are apple mango banana and orange here you can see that the taller the bar the greater the number so that mango is the food that many students like to eat next is the pictograph a pictograph uses symbols or pictures to represent data for example some students are there named as kabir riya arjun and neha here one apple picture represents two apple so if arjun ate one apple picture so that he ate that two apples and here you can see that kabir ate the most apples that is six apples and arjun ate the least that is two apples it is a very fun and encouraging way to represent the data especially for the young learners and let's finally talk about the circular graph it is also known as a pie chart it is it uses a circle that is divided into parts for example if i make a circular graph of my daily activities we know that one day is equal to 24 hours and i am dividing it through my daily activities so i gave 8 hours for sleep 6 hours for school Six hours for study and four hours for play. Here, bigger the part represents that 
I slept for more time. That is 8 hours. This is all about my model. I thought that I gave you the best explanation of this. And I have cleared here all your doubts. If the video is good, like and share it. If you are new on the channel, if you like our video, then subscribe to our channel. And if you have any queries, please follow me on Insta at NSC Best. Or you can comment me on the comment box. Thanks for watching.